What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure custom stage and arena sort of tour slash setup style deal that I want to get into today because we've completely revamped it, man. We've completely revamped it, as you guys can see here. We're going to go through all of the details of this, the entire details of the arena. Some things have changed in the arena. Some things have been, you know, staying the same and whatnot, but I wanted to take you through it today, kind of discuss everything going on with it. Showcase everything, you know, describe the pieces and everything we have going on here, man. But so I guess the only thing to do, man, is to dive in and just discuss everything, man. But the, first of all, let's get this out of the way. The inspiration behind this stage actually came from a very old YouTube video, man. A very old YouTube video that I saw years ago, man. And I always thought that is the coolest stage I've ever seen or, you know, just uh, I would love to kind of recreate that or kind of you know just try to make my own hand at that and i'll put a picture of the stage that it was i don't know if you guys remember that video but that is kind of the inspiration behind this it's not exactly the same but i did borrow some creative ideas from that man but uh it, it looks amazing i always thought that the water speakers look cool so we do have these water speakers connected to the computer right here so this is a full-fledged monitor that i have hooked up to an actual computer shout out to my man prill one of my longtime best friends he let me borrow his old computer that he was just going to have sitting in a corner so i said dude let me see that and let me see what i can do here so we have rigged it up here so we have a full titan tron monitor connected to these water speakers so when you, you guys saw at the beginning of the video hopefully i can plug it in there when you hit the you know when you hit play the titan tron will play you'll have the speakers going up and it kind of looks like pyro and i just thought it looked so unique and it gives you a unique lighting experience as well so i thought that looked awesome on top of the water speakers which i think is honestly probably the coolest thing about it we do have this custom ramp right here now i have two different ramps that i can showcase here this one here was 3d printed by my buddy william fouch He's an excellent 3D printer guy. He hooked me up with some cool stuff here. We have this custom MDT ramp. You guys can see the length of it. It is based off of, like the dimensions of it are pretty much based off the old Jack's play sets, but it is longer. I think it's like six or seven inches long instead of the four or four and a half or whatever it was from Jack's. He even 3D printed these lights to put in here. I wish they were operational. I could, I could replace those with operational lights, but for now, I'm not going to do that. I do have However, two operational lights that we'll get into in a moment. But this ramp right here, there's two different ramp setups that we have here. So you have this 3D printed version with the MDT on there. And this is like, you know, it's got the steel grating and what have you. He also printed off a black version. I might give this one away or do like a cool thing with this one. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with the black version. But you guys can see how big it is. I mean, this thing is absolutely like, look at this. This is held up to the screen. That's how big it is. So this MDT black one, I might, I don't know, I may spray it and give it, I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but we have that extra one. And then my man, Dr. Diorama on Instagram, man, he hooked me up with this custom stage ramp here. And this one's insane, man. It's got like actual metal in it. And he even has like the steel grating right here. And it even has the MDT sketched in there. Huge shout out to him, man. Very creative individual. He hooked me up with this one and I was going to use this one as well. Or just, I was trying to figure out which one I liked more. Or maybe I use one for one and one for the other. I don't know. I'm trying to decide here, but... You guys can let me know down below. Do you like this bigger? Like this one's even bigger than that one, man. This one's super long. Like look at this right here. I'm just going to put it right here. Thing is absolutely massive. And you guys can see how much bigger it is than that one. But I even had to raise up the stage just to make it even with this ramp here in order for it to connect. I had to go to like the thrift store and buy little planks of wood like just chilling around the store just to raise this up so that it could actually fit there. So you no, know, I wanted that to be flush and whatnot. So there's that. But to go up to this ramp, it would even have to be taller than that. So for the time being, I am rocking with this one right here, but I may switch back and forth. I'm trying to decide. You guys can let me know what your thoughts are down below. A huge shout out to Dr. Arama because this ramp is absolutely magnificent. It is such a beautiful piece. So outside of the custom ramp and the water speakers, the different pieces of scaffolding you see here. So this piece here, that piece there, these long pieces that connect to the Titan Tron right there. I think these that are on these poles that support the beams of the second level of the arena here, those all come from the old Jack's Money in the Bank playset. So those are actually from Jack's. Those are not like a third party company. Those are from Jack's that I just used sparingly throughout the years. I think I used them for the Money in the Bank pick fed pay per view back in the day and just had them saved up. These two right here, this one and then this one on this side, those are from the SmackDown stage or ring Jack's play set from like 2001. It's the poles that came with this set right here. And I actually got this for Christmas back in 2001, but I found it on Mercari for kind of cheap and I offered a deal for it and they accepted it. So I did uh, grab those pieces. So all I did was remove it from this piece here and then connected it here to kind of le elevate those pieces of scaffolding there. Just has a real like ruthless aggression pay-per-view stage vibe going for it, which was kind of what I wanted to do. And then these poles here, this scaffolding here, the scaffolding that's actually surrounding the Titan Tron, that piece there, the piece that's on top of these water speakers, all those pieces are from the Wrestling Superstore, I think. 
and you can order like four poles for 20 bucks or 25 bucks. So I bought two of those sets. So I had eight of those and I just chopped some up and then I had some that are just fully square like that to make columns. So, you know, you sometimes you just gotta be innovative there. So that's kind of what we did there. And then the actual stage itself, this is the old SmackDown stage that came with the speaker on it. And then the back piece where that MDT sign is, is, an, is the SmackDown stage without the speaker on it. It's the little platform piece. And I just removed that. It does have some of the old rings on it as well. So we have the original three rings, and then on that one it has two rings. And then I just removed the speaker and then spray painted all of that silver to kind of give it like a whole cohesive little uniform look right there. And I think these are also from the Money in the Bank set right here in the front. This is just a little block I bought from Lowe's to lift up the speakers, and then I bought some coasters from Walmart to lift up the speakers a little bit as well, just so that, you know, all the different superstars can clear the stage. This is from the Elimination Chamber playset from Mattel, I think it was. Just put two of those on each side or one of those on each side. And, you know, you kind of wrap all of that up together, and this is kind of what you get here. But these lights right here, I think I got these off Amazon. It came with four of them. And, you know, you can turn these off right here. And then, you know, there you go. Then now the light's off. So you have two different options there. This sign back here was also 3D printed. And this is, I think, what's going to be the little back wall. This little sheet here, this, you know, whatever's that's hanging down to make it blackness... I have this curtain hanging so that, you know, you can't see through the back of it so that it actually kind of gives it that arena look. I'm still working on this. This won't be here eventually, but, you know, for, you know, you got to take it one piece at a time. But that little piece there is just a shirt I cut up to make it look like a black curtain. But this piece here is also 3D printed by my man William. And I'm thinking he also gave me some letters that I could glue on there or paint these. But I was thinking if I cut them out and then ran like an LED light behind it. Then you could see the MDT just illuminated a little bit, and then that would make for, like, the main piece back there. So, you know, if you get down through here, you see the MDT back there. It's kind of like the back piece that you see. And if it was illuminated with lights and stuff, which there's a lot of lighting I got to add to the arena. I'm not done with it. I just wanted to give you guys an update here today. But if you ran, like, if you cut that MDT out and then ran some lights behind it, then it would illuminate, and you could really see it better. So there's that. And you could also do lighting effects and whatnot. But that is the custom stage, man. I mean, for the most part, I don't think I left anything out, not to my knowledge here. But you come down the ramp, you know, and then you get to the ring. We've covered the ring. I talked about the ring a few different times. Rearrange the crowd out in the arena a little bit here but the main thing about the arena over here we've i think the last arena update we did i covered everything about the crowd and how to do it and what ring i use and whatnot so go check out that video but the biggest thing we've added here is going to be this uh lighting rig right here we did add this lighting rig here that is chained to the ceiling and my eventual thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change this so you guys can see it's not very stable i'm going to make it i think i'm going to get more of like a circular piece and then hang some lights from it or do some lights that like reflect straight down onto the ring. I also added this uh, this strobe light right here. So when you turn this on, let me. I'm not gonna put it right in your face because I don't want to, you know, affect anybody. But you know, it'll flash like that. So you know, you can get the flash effect there. So I, I am gonna have to rig that up and hang that so that you know you can get different superstars entrances. So we have our strobe light here. I think I got that off Amazon or something. And then I have some different lights that I got to rig up. So. I plan on having like a piece of wood maybe that comes up and then, you know, you screw it there and it aims down on the arena and then you get different lighting effects for different entrances. And then you can key it up to the computer and, you know, have everything like detailed and on a sequence and in lighting and whatnot. So, but I think that is pretty much the arena, man. I mean, you know, it, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. I've had a lot of people say, you know, it looks way better than the other one that we had in here. I think it looks a hell of a lot better than the one we had here with the ramp coming out of it. So, yeah, a lot more... You know, uh, just a lot more bells and whistles going on with this. So huge shout out to whoever made that video all those years ago. I think it was like custom WWE stages or something, man. Huge shout out to that person or whoever made that video all those years ago. Because you inspired this stage here and this look here and for the arena. So yeah, man, it should be fun. But before we get out of here, we do have a teaser here on some of the items we're going to have on whatnot, man. We're going to have a lot of custom belts, man. These are not your mom's regular belts, man. These are custom made like 3d printed actual belts here man so if you want these for your collection man be sure to go download whatnot you get ten dollars off go to the link in the description below and i'll also pin the comment so you guys can go ahead and bookmark the show like we're gonna have lots of classic championships up for grabs here as well as a ton of other things so man you definitely want to come by there man but that is going to wrap up the video huge shout out to our patreon members of the mdt youtube channel huge shout out to you fellas over there man thank you guys so very much for actually, they also contributed to the to the custom arena because I got to see their feedback on certain things and things like that, man. So huge shout out to those fellas over there. But I think that's gonna do it, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.